Hello and welcome to the very first round here. Uh, we lost a die roll, but I think our hand is good enough to keep. We have turn two, Rift and Cloud's case is spent into Seagate Oracle. Uh, opponent has a really good opening, but uh, Ultimate of the Sea is actually pretty good against his deck, I think. Um, depending on what the rest of his deck is, but I mean, uh, it's, it's good against this kind of opening uh, most of the time. Seems to be blue green. Which does scare me a little bit, especially with such a strong opening that he has. Um, Old Man of the Sea can obviously take one of those two, so he doesn't have the counter for it next turn. Um, we have an active either Noble Hierarch or an Enclave Cryptologist. I think we do want to keep um, Glenlandra against this guy often enough. Uh, what is this? Double level. Please let it just be double level. Yep, it is. Uh, so, yeah, he's gonna start drawing the cards, but then after he has activated that twice, we can ult man of the see it. And then we can start drawing the cards, which in a matchup like this, where it usually goes ab about who draws the most cards, um, that's obviously really great for us. And normally a deck like his doesn't actually have a lot of removal, so there's that. Uh, he can't have Pact of Negation, he can obviously have Force of Will. But he's gonna go up to 5 mana here already, uh, thanks to Noble Hierarch. Another card I could take if I want, but I don't think I do. I think if I do draw land, I just play the magpie. Magpie. Why do I even call it? I, I don't actually know the pronunciation of this. Is it magpie? Mag P? Uh, he could have capsize, and that's what he's thinking about. Play the land first, then, though. Oh, it's mana war. That's even better. That's way better. I mean, it's obviously not game breaking, but it does allow him to draw an extra card again. Um, slows me down again. I just tempo, 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 tempo. It's all about tempo. Uh, we don't draw land, so uh, the obvious play is just replaying the old man of the sea here. This time he has four spike. Wow, brutal. Real brutal. Uh, so yeah, Rifting Cloud's Gate will come into play, bounce this one now. So many it resolves, of course. Yeah, don't really know how to handle this at this point. Uh, he's out tempoing me, had a really good opening with turn 1 Noble, turn 2. And clay of turn three, start drawing cards from it. Uh, not much you can do about that unless you have dismember or any kind of removal. And I'm currently stuck on lands. Uh, it's not adding a lot of pressure, but uh, indirectly he is because you know uh, drawing extra cards in this in against me is really good. And he has trade wind riders. Yeah, wow. Uh, trade wind riders for those that don't know is a C card. So I think I have to bounce that one instead now. I think Trade Wind Riders is one of the the funnest cards I find to play with. Um, and I am going to click it away right now, just because it's that good in my eyes. For so much reason I'm lagging, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, no clue why I have priority here. He has upheaval, as I expected. Um, but I can't let him, let him have trade wind riders. Uh, it's just too good. I think we have to attack here with a uh, Rifting Cloud's Gate. Don't think we're gonna block with it, so. I'll just attack with it then. If he plays upheaval and then replays the Noble Hierarch. I'm usually screwed. 
like he, his opening was strong enough for me not able to handle it and if he just redoes it um, then that's really good for me that's why I actually trade away the Vendillion click because I think it's uh, worth doing because his upheaval play would be too good for me to handle is he gonna go for it? no he has oracle uh, which is just as good uh, wow and then finds double hand I think Oblivion Ring against this guy is really good because he's permanent based uh, now we finally do find a land but I think it's a bit too slow here uh, this is Glen Lendra so it does stop uh, upheaval for a while he has miscalculation as well yeah okay whatever not even gonna bother um, so I think we do want to repeal just to slow him down and then Oblivion Stone uh, we probably don't wanna run what don't, what don't we wanna run here I think Void Mage might be too slow and then Packed Ledger's got that I don't think countering against him is the way to win this I'm not sure if we can actually win this at all but we'll see uh, so he has 4 spike miscalculation that I know of um, he has mana war, really good tech uh, seems interesting and ah oh, come on <laughs> I probably play like 3 swamps um, so I'm not gonna mulligan this, but uh, he also mulligans, which makes it a bit better for me, uh, because if he just opens with, yeah, noble or something, I can repeal it and gain a bit of tempo back. Uh, there's wake treasure, which is a really good card for me to have. But yeah, I'm lagging. So he probably replays. Oh my god, no way. See, what the hell is this? Is it like Modo that's lagging, or is it me? Or But having Rafalas there. This guy's deck is, is, is huge. Like, it's really good. Uh, don't worry, it's not your video that's lagging. It's actually on my end somehow. I have no clue how. Like, I'm, I'm not busy with anything, so. Trafella, so he doesn't have a land here because else he wouldn't do that that way. Cultivate, so he's gonna find two islands, put one to play tapped, and then the other one as well. Play noble. No, it's not gonna play noble, it's gonna keep open miscalculation, I think. And he has plenty of mana. Yeah, he has miscalculation, so. Come on. Fucking moto. Work with me here. Um, so I'll first attack. I think if he has miscalculation, I want to run the magpie in it. Because he's always going to have that mana up. Nah, let's just suspend this. And see what he does end of turn. Nothing. But he has plenty of money, like he can have 8 mana now. Thanks to Drew fellows. And I obviously do not have counters for that. Corfellas is, is such a brutal card. It's unreal. Yeah, it's banned in ED EDH's uh, commander, right? Just because of its, <laughs> its sickness. Uh, just mono green and you play for his every turn anyway. If that is the best things he can do, then I'm good. But it seems unlikely, like, what is he accelerating into even? Like, in an uh, Emerkel? He has to be accelerating into something. Seems odd that he would play late game cards, seeing how his deck ran out previous game. But it's always likely, of course. Uh, we're gonna tap for mana. Because then weight treasure becomes b bigger. With bigger, I mean it's gonna become huge. Uh, we draw tricks, which isn't what we want. We'll just run weight treasure into 
uh, the solemn. It's an auto block for him. Uh, don't think there's a situation where he won't block there. Uh, we have to run this out there. I mean, we're not gonna use the mana else anyway. Yeah, look at how laggy that is. Is it always at this point? So we did have the miscalculation. I don't think. Uh, I didn't think for a second that it wouldn't have that. But wall blossoms. Yeah, sure. Uh lagging for you as well question mark this is annoying like I don't like playing with such a lag can't tell <laughs> so it's probably always lagging or something I don't know if you can't tell if it's lagging then I have no clue what you're doing coalition relic so he has three cards in hand but apparently none of them are Good enough. Uh, two cards now. And he's attacking me. Okay then. There, There is a button for this. Like it's one of the F keys but um, I wouldn't know which one it is anyway. And I draw crap again. Uh, let's cancel. Let's just attack first. Can I do play lands, right? Of course I play lands. Um, assuming this, he probably has like four spike, but that doesn't matter if I run out of oblivion stone. Yep. Uh, how many men does he have? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If he has a forest, he would have fifteen mana. He can hard cast Emrakul next turn. Uh, he had a blue. Oh, he can just cast up Heaval here and win the game. Which is what he's gonna do. He's gonna float all his mana, cast up Heaval. That's still not game though, because I have Cloud Skate coming in. 13 mana. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Noble. 14 mana. <laughs> just running out of Heaval, huh? Sure. Yep. Yep. Coalition relic. Yep. And land. Okay, nice. Not much I can do about that, of course. But I mean, this game isn't over by far. Uh, most of his hand consists out of lands and a single, uh, two cards. I don't know, or one card. I don't know. So that doesn't matter actually, and he's not uh, applying a lot of pressure. Like, sure, he can probably counter this. Um, so we cast this. He he can might be able to counter this, but he doesn't. Uh, so we bounce our fellas to slow down his aggression. Attack here. Um, end of turn, we're gonna have to discard. I think Sun Titan is one of them. And. Probably Oblivion Stone. Uh, no clue why I didn't tap it there. Um, so that was an error on his end. I want to draw a swamp just for the Bale of Strix. Okay. He, he probably could have cast way more. Oh wow. His deck is, is huge. But uh, not no clue what he's actually accelerating into. Of course we just draw a chunk. I mean it is lands after all so with Maloka that's fine. Um, but he still hasn't done anything uh, with a big card, so I'm still fine for now. Uh, as soon as he manages to get something really big, I lose, but hasn't come so far. 
That's one, two, three. It's so much mana. <laughs> Like turn three, you could have had one, six, seven, eight, nine mana, ten mana, right? <laughs> could have had ten mana at this point in the game. Doesn't that seem a bit uh, too strong? Uh, I know I'm running this into four spike. I don't actually care. Um, like I don't think I could win anyway if I slow down. That's in, in some way. Um, we're just gonna keep on hacking, hoping he doesn't have much. Um, if he doesn't cast anything, I'm just gonna steal the Rafalas. Because it means he's not gonna be able to cast much else uh, pretty soon. He adds a blue yet again. Uh, we still have control magic and, and so on. Uh, but he is casting something here. Probably Manowar or Revoker. Revoker or Alt Manos here, I guess. That's fine. Uh, it's still a 2 3, so it can block the Rafalas if, if it attacks. Uh, it doesn't attack anymore, so yay. There's on Burrow, Bur right? Um, do you want to cast Wake Treasure? Probably. It's not a blocker though. Uh, and maybe Snapcaster into Repeal is better. Snapcaster repeal like the noble at one point. Uh, so let's do that and try to do that end of turn. And then maybe we draw. Um, we draw a swamp and we can unbarrow rights to Sun Titan. It also allows us to, you know, uh, do stuff when he attacks. It's not. Oh, he attacks there. Um, let's stop on opponent's turn. What's this? At declare attackers? Oh, so we're not stopping on my own turn, okay. Uh, so I think at this point I just already want a snapcaster anyway. So let's that, let that resolve. And repeal this. Doesn't matter, I just want to block this. Um, so just want to block that in such a way that I have Old Man of the Sea up now. So we just, yeah, replace it, doesn't matter. Uh, so let's steal little fellas. Begin combat, hit with the Rift Wing. And I know we could play Meloku, but I think casting the treasure is actually better. And we also have this member up. Uh, we already used upheaval, so that's fine. Uh, I don't think his deck actually has a late game. Like, looking at how his deck is constructed, I think he's more about generating a lot of mana, playing upheaval, and then winning from there. So as soon as I get to some point in the late game, he loses. Um, let's, yeah, tap all of them. Don't really care about that. Uh, just because I have weight treasure, I uh, don't want to tap those. I didn't have to yield to those. Probably previous match, so. It's not going to click through all of them, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. He figured it out. Uh, so there's Misty Gate, but I don't think I want to cast it here. I think I just want to smash in. Uh, probably with uh, Rafalas as well. So, because he's low enough that he has to block Wake Treasure and probably can't afford to hit from the Rafalas either. Um, and I just cast him a Maloku. Just to add uh, something more to the board. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Um, don't want to change anything up. We're on the draw now. Doesn't have a lot of late game. 
Uh, maybe you don't want to play black now, but I still think that's fine. Like, how good is Momentary Blink against this guy? Not that great, right? Is a Maru probably is fine. Exalted Angel is something you can't handle. Because he's all about the early game. Maybe I should go more early game myself. Something like um, this cutting this, but then I also want Exalted Angel. Then I have to cut Maloku and. Impulse because I'm not splashing anyway. Into the roll. Uh, into the roll seems good enough. Uh, probably want the pact still. Although if pact resolves and then he resolves, uh, you know what I mean. Um, annoying card. Uh, maybe condescent is better, but then I'm having two cards too many, so. Uh, TV Magpie seems pretty bad. Master of Waves actually seems pretty bad as well. Though I am very heavy blue base now. Control Magic and Treachery seems bad to be honest. Oh, we have one card to few now. So I'd rather have the Magpie than the Control Magic. So we can remove the Swamps, we can remove the Fetid Heat, at land, just what the hell? <laughs> uh, six planes seems a bit excessive. So something like that. We have six white sources then. Okay, let's try it. Uh, okay, that was so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna reboot. Um, I'm gonna reboot um, soon. Uh, not gonna mulligan this. We have turn one is tomorrow. Uh, turn two impulse. Turn three court star. Uh, if he has four spike, he has four spike here. We obviously sideboard into a different deck. So he has a four spike. That's fine. As I said, if he has it, he has it. Uh, would find it odd that he actually. Um, kept a hand with that in and relies on that so he has to have more value than just that um, Seagate Oracle is probably better than Momentary Blink uh, then then Cortisar uh, they're both 1 trees, but it doesn't really matter so let's Impulse see what we can get uh, Wake Treasure is fine not gonna drop it yet though uh, I think I want to play around some kind of counter and rather have a uh, Seagate Oracle out there. He doesn't seem to have uh, an aggressive opening here, so. Uh, planes is better here. Boreal Druids right now? Wow. If that is what he's doing, it's bad. Um, so let's tech here. Then drop a drop a wake treasure because having this up with um, momentary blink up is actually better later on. Uh, he definitely has a counter. Like there's no way he would have uh, kept the mana open for so long without having the counter there. Uh, but I still have no clue what he's actually planning. He just has a really weak hand, I think. I uh, could have killed Boreal Druid, but I don't think I want to. Okay, I want to give this member for something really good. Warm Power Stone, obviously not a card I can counter. Uh, let's cast his face down. And then just smash here. 
I mean, momentary blink allows me to evade stuff like mana war and flipping this enemy at the same time. Just thinking about something, but no clue what. Question is, do I want to momentary blink? Um, end of turn, no matter what. <laughs> Maybe um, he attacks. He doesn't. I think I do. Just momentary blink here. See what he does. So he sees what it is. We swing. Uh, put a stop on his draw. Because his hand has to be juicy, right? Like, what does he have here that's that good that he can't actually cast it? It's not a counter. Cryptic command can be cast here, so... Oh, it's Mystic Snake. That's, that's nice. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, but it did cost him his turn, so... Noble Hierarch, okay. Not planes, uh doesn't matter if I attack with the Seagate, so let's not just swing with the Exalted Angel and drop a Magpie. He F6, so... So let's say he has uh, upheaval here, he has 7 eight nine mana but he already made this land drop so he doesn't obviously doesn't have it as he wouldn't have made that land drop has mana war three mana already uh yeah it's mana war sure Garrick Primal Hunter, that's actually a good one. <laughs> Put a 3 3 Green Beast, yeah. Draw cards equals to the greatest power of creatures you control. Um. Oh, it gets exalted, yeah, okay. I was like, why would you attack there? But I, I get it, doesn't matter. Okay, so we can bounce that uh, and attack him, but. I don't think that's actually good. So let's attack him. See what comes of it. We draw cards. Which is a, a good one because now we can cast this face down and not have to worry about not having mana up. He knows what it is, or he should know what it is. Uh, he's gonna draw cards like I would draw cards here. Drawing tree is definitely a good choice. Because if he draws upheaval, that's really good. Um, I think this is a good question. Like, what if it does that? Do I want to dismember? I don't think I do. Are the other matches done, by the way? It's not loading. Yeah, I definitely have issues here. Okay, I'm still connected. Okay. He's just thinking out his turn, I guess. Uh, so we let's say he has a P. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana to his disposal. So that's four more afterwards. So that's noble hierarch, born power stone. Then I kill the noble hierarch. And then what? Probably should have suspended cloud skate somehow. Uh, momentary blink says you control. I can dismember this, but I don't think I want to do that. Let's just let him draw three. 
Uh, and just ignore this for now. Like him casting two three bees doesn't don't actually matter uh, because I have exalted angel, and it hits it kills him in two. Oracle is fine, especially if he hits lands. There's the upheaval, so um, I for sure I'm gonna get that in my face next turn. So he has six, seven, eight, wow, even more. So. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12 mana. So that's up evil into Oracle, into more shebang. So I think I want to kill the Oracle before he casts up evil. You can also bounce the Power Stone, which allows him to cast less. That's probably a good play. You can't kill him, right? No. I think I bounce the power stone, kill something like the noble, and then he has 7 8 mana. Uh, then his upheaval becomes way worse. Primal commands. Oh, so he gains life, sure. Um, I'm an idiot. I'm definitely. Oh my god. <sighs> Why did I not just flip it? No! God damn it. Man. I'm messing up here. I'm way too tired, I guess. But I definitely should have flipped Exalted Angel. Because now he, he has no point in, there's no point in him in casting, uh, let's attack first. There's no point in him in casting upheaval now because it doesn't actually matter. Uh, let's kill the Garak. Like, just kill it. Don't want it in, in his hand. Um, so let's just cast this on the Warm Power Stone. But now he, he doesn't have the need to cast upheaval. Make sure, keep on attacking with the beast. I, I really don't care about that. He has four cards in hand, including upheaval and a warm power stone. So we know most of the cards. He still has 10 mana, so he can. Definitely run out Power Stone Noble. He's gonna go for it. I don't think it's a good play here, but okay. I guess it's good enough. Yeah, it's probably good enough. Although, Exalted Angel comes down really fast. So drop a land, warm power stone. But then he has a mana war for the exalted angel. Like we have been in this situation before and we actually won that, so we might still win this. Did it really mess up here? Did it did he already play the land? Uh it's too many texts to scroll to. Maybe he's lagging, maybe I'm lagging and I'm just not seeing he already played it or something. Like, this will, well, it's just a bunch of lands that's gonna get this card on my hand. But I don't think his deck is good enough to win into the late game. Yeah, there's a land, there's a warm power stone. Now he just discards four lands. This is such a brutal match. So yeah, everything else is finished, it's just us. Uh, we draw Tamiyo, which definitely isn't the card I want. Um, so we want four lands, right? So uh, we can discard this one, this one, and this one. Then we have cards too many, and I think the Magpie has to go. And probably the Seagate. 
the Cortisar is better because it digs one deeper. But many more can hit through it, so there's that. And I'm not sure what I want to do. Do I want to drop Exalted Angel? I think I do. Uh, momentary Blink obviously wouldn't have saved me against anything. Like yeah, one Power Stone opening here is really good for him. Uh, he should still have other plays as well, so... Like he, he probably still has Mystic Snake as well. Uh, for countering even. So there is that as well. But I am just gonna cast a uh, Court Star next turn, I think, and wait with the Exalted Angel. There's no need to to run it out there already. Look, he's trying to whittle me down uh, here uh, by attacking a little bit. Uh, he has Mystic Snake, so he can cast that uh, in response to my Court Star. Um, so I'm obviously not gonna play. Exalted Angel here. He's gonna Mystic Snake this. Or should Mystic Snake that? I'll put it like that. Just gonna try to out tempo me here, but um, I think with Treachery. Now, nah, Treachery isn't good enough because of Mana War. Well, this if I draw land, like Clanlandra needs turn. He Mana Wars it. Uh, there's no need to attack with the Boreal Druid, but okay. His deck is awesome, by the way. Um, just saying. Oh, uh, Rafaela's nice draw. Um, so I'm as good as that, unless I into the roll something, then draw land, play treachery on something, Tamio something down, and next turn is gonna be uh, critical for me. I could probably bounce Rafaela's on his upkeep. Uh, cast with kicker, uh, more chance to draw land. There's land already. Uh, and then we draw another land <laughs> to hard cast the exalted angel, and then that might win us the game. Uh, Rifting Clouds Gate is pretty good. Because we just treachery the hierarch and then we can start trading with things, but he just mana wars the hierarch and replays it. Obviously, can't bounce the mystic snake because that would be terrible. He already used most of his counter, I think. Um, we already saw four spec and miscalculation. I think he has more, or at least we haven't seen more. And his late game is, is terrible normally, so um, he should just attack with the snake, yeah. Rufellas, we know about that one. And the land. And what was this? Coalition relic, sure. More, more acceleration. So we cast this one, Panzer of Fellas again. Treachery, the Hierarch. Treachery, the Hierarch. If this gets counter, I lose. Like, I don't have much option there. Um. We untap five lands. Then we cast Tamiyo. Keep that locked. And see where this brings us. Because now we can obviously um, play Manowar, Bounce Noble Hierarch. Uh, p replay Noble Hierarch, attack with Boreal Druid, I block. I have no creatures, he has three creatures. I tap something now, plays Octod Angel, and I still survive. 
So I just ha have to have him not have an answer against the Exalted Angel. We obviously haven't seen his entire deck, so he might have uh, cards that win him the game. Uh, but there's no way for us to play around it. Uh, we planned it out as much as we could. Uh, this obviously is the Mana War on the Noble Hierarch. Yep, that's fine. Uh, not much we can do about that. Replace Noble, yep. Attack Suit Boreal. Like, this is all planned out. This is stuff we, we knew was going to happen. Um, and stuff we, we planned for, so... He doesn't have a counter because then he would have countered Treachery already. No, don't tell me he has an Earth. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so this is still fine because we can keep that tap down. We then play this. Wait, what did I do? Just cast, right? Okay. And now we have to have him not have an answer. Um, so let's see, shall we? Uh, there's your fellas again, that doesn't matter. Uh, there's that. Um, and then he has sixes? Yes! He can't attack. Uh, we play Glenalendra. We obviously keep Trade Wind Riders tapped. I think we can afford to attack here, right? Uh, yeah, we can. Because um, Glenalendra can still block uh, and he can't actually get rid of it somehow. Well, he can if he has a bounce uh, in a creature form, but seems unlikely. Uh, he already used his primal command. Yeah, he did. So that was this game. Uh, he's casting something. Uh, it seems huge. Five mana. Deranged Hermit. That's definitely a good card. Uh, not so sure what I should do about that. We obviously go up to 11, but... Uh, so he's attacking with everything, seems like an outplay. Because I'm gonna block Rofellus. Yeah, let's block something. So we can draw cards now with uh, Tamiyo. We can also Sun Titan stuff into play again. So we go up to 7. What can we Sun Titan into play? Uh, let's think about this. Can Sun Titan from Dealing Click? And then we have three blockers. We block, 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 and we die. Right? Um, We can Sun Titan, Seagate Oracle, find ourselves another card. Again, block, block, block. We're at 7, this is lethal. And Trade Wind Dryer is actually a really annoying card. Uh, so we can lock this down, then it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's not enough. So we have to lock one of those down. Um, and have that be enough. Let's play a land first because you never know. Uh, but then Trade Wind Riders becomes really good, but I don't think he can afford using that. Although Noble Hierarch with Trade Wind Riders. Uh, let's get Seagate Oracle back, right? Seagate Oracle over Vendilion Click. Yeah, that's fine. Obviously, want to use the ability. Get a repeal. Repeal is definitely golden here. Uh, we lock down the trade wind rider still. Attack with the exalted angel. Uh, 
uh, on a subkeep we want to repeal a squirrel Oh, we draw oblivion stone, that doesn't matter. So we block, 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 he deals me 5, so that's not enough. Yeah, that bounce was golden, drawing that repeal from the Seagate Oracle. I'm definitely gonna lose a bunch of creatures here. But, uh, it's not much else I could have done about that. Oh, he's only at a minute? Wow, this game. This game is going so long, but it's an awesome game. Like, his deck is awesome. His deck is a deck I definitely want to draft and play. I obviously like my own deck as well. But just playing against it, is, it's so entertaining. Like, even if I, if I would lost this, like, it's still g great because it's an awesome deck. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he's going for the for the swing, the alpha strike, hoping that I mess up. I think, because um, I don't think his deck actually has um, much in the way here. Um, I don't think I want to kill the deranged hermit. I just want to sacrifice this, and then this is five damage. Um, maybe though, if I block like this then we also take an extra scroll with us and maybe it's better to take a mystic snake with us than a scroll because they shrink later on yeah that's fine so we have sixth we can draw four cards hope to draw repeal and win the game Oh, we can just tap it down, like, uh, tap this, and no need to attack with that, but he have 6 anyway, so, uh, let's get a click back, yes, see my opponent's hand, okay, okay, very interesting hand, oh my god, that we won that. What a game. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna drink a little bit and I'll see you guys immediately for round two. See ya.